combat cameraman began his official career in the armed forces during World War I. He became an integral part of the military and performed with distinction. In World War II, he was there from the beginning, recording on film the history of war. impressive record of visual documentation. as a weapon became invaluable in tactical and strategic planning throughout the entire campaign. Combat photography serves many important purposes as a source of intelligence, training, news, and historical record. Traditionally, the combat cameraman lives in constant danger, taking his pictures in the midst of every battle fighting and dying with the armed forces. His is an anonymous role, yet a role distinguished by bravery and skill. Continually exposed to danger, he nevertheless accomplishes his mission. For an historical record, he photographed the German surrender. He ushered in the atomic age. And later, the capitulation of the Japanese. After a short lull, the combat photographer was in action again. Today in Korea, he is again covering all fronts recording the ebb and flow of the war in motion picture and still photography for study and information. Between assignments, cameramen at headquarters relax and check their vehicles and equipment for their next mission. In the army, cameramen are divided into division photographers who work with the regiments, corps photographers who have a greater mobility, and army photographers for special coverage. These men have received their training at various armed forces training installations throughout the states. They have been thoroughly indoctrinated in the mechanical, technical, and chemical phases of photography in both classroom and field to prepare them for their mission of obtaining accurate and up-to-date pictorial coverage of war and combat. They soon become seasoned veterans, efficiently performing their duties in broad fields of coverage. Peace talks. Evaluation and identification pictures of PWs. Captured enemy equipment. These films permit a better understanding of how best to cope with the enemy. The cameraman also records new techniques in warfare, such as this napalm drop in a saturation firebombing test. Photographic air reconnaissance missions are essential for briefing of combat, construction, demolition, and other operational units such as parachute groups, artillery, and air support. Study of reconnaissance films makes it possible to determine terrain conditions and assist staff officers in planning air and artillery support as well as troop movements. 
The films also serve to evaluate damage to the enemy, establish landmarks, landing fields, and provide orientation of pilots operating out of new fields. Target selections may be pinpointed more accurately with subsequent briefing of bomber pilots and assault groups, providing intelligence information to operational personnel. The photographs indicate peculiarities of terrain, camouflage installations, enemy fortifications, airfields, hangars, storage tanks, supply dumps, and other vital intelligence necessary to field commanders. With this information at hand, the course of campaigns can be conducted with greater accuracy and certainty of success on land and in the air. Air photographers record views of a close tactical air support mission. Gunsight aiming point cameras serve to give Air Force personnel an opportunity to study enemy aircraft, their flight characteristics, the critical moment of aerial combat tactics, and record hits. Pictorial emphasis in Korea has resulted in a wealth of film material invaluable for study, information, and training. Films and pictures serve many important purposes. Foremost is their value in intelligence work. Essential to every military operation is knowledge of the enemy, his location and disposition of troops. Of equal importance is their use in training. Pictures of combat help prepare our soldiers for their battlefield mission. They also serve as an important source of news and historical matter. In amphibious operations, the contribution of the Navy photographer is of the utmost importance. Both motion pictures and still photographs are vital in the selection of landing ports, beach slopes, and ship-to-shore artillery targets. of motion pictures, valuable visual training information is secured to perfect the complicated aspects of such an operation. By careful study, errors are eliminated and successful campaigns are launched. In Korea, the ratio of combat cameraman casualties is high. In open fighting, the combat photographer must be fast and accurate in his shooting. He depends on speed and agility to get the picture under all conditions of warfare. Combat photographers frequently operate as a team, with each team making both still and motion pictures. Shooting pictures in combat presents many problems, overcoming weather and natural conditions, and keeping their equipment in operation, in spite of rugged use. The combat cameraman labors under severe handicaps, often ahead of frontline troops. He travels lightly, close to the enemy, and shoots both guns and pictures. His work is vital in communication of intelligence information to frontline personnel, aiding tactical operations staff work, and briefing units. The results of his film supplement and substitute for maps in planning, briefing, and execution of missions. 
By study of his pictures, it is possible to determine selection of approach routes and fields of fire, as well as gather up-to-date information on artillery placement and enemy installations. To get his pictorial records of the Korean conflict, the combat cameraman goes into the thick of the fight. These combat photographers were awarded medals for gallantry in action and heroic achievement. Their military and technical abilities were significant factors in performed services far and above the call of duty. Disregarding personal safety, they displayed outstanding bravery and professional ability. That is the tradition of the combat cameraman.